so I'm sitting in the blind. Right now it's 30 degrees. First light. Jaime is over that way. And a ground blind as well. So we're hoping that we get some movement. It's pretty windy though. We'll have to see. So I'm back at the truck. Our meetup time with Jaime is getting pretty close. I ain't gonna lie, it was pretty cold sitting in that ground blind this morning at 30 degrees. So I sat in there for about an hour and then I got up and started walking around and I went back to a spot that I had seen deer um, before. I saw a lot of sign but uh, no uh, movement in this location. Maybe it's where they go in the late afternoon. I don't know, uh, but it's a beautiful day out here and I'm waiting for Jaime to get back so we can get a report from him. So uh, talk to you soon. So we took a little break, lunch. We were driving around, heater hunting. And uh, we saw a four point buck and two doe. So lunch was quickly uh, over. We started um, after the doe and the buck, or the two doe and a buck. And uh, somehow in between parking the truck, getting the gear and uh, trying to get in the woods, I mean, they went to ground, they went to cover. We did not see them at all. So we decided to come back to a spot that we hunted this morning. There's a lot of activity up here. Border Patrol up here doing some sort of ops. Just probably got 20 Border Patrol agents running around the woods. I stopped, asked them if they could help push some deer our way. They all laughed. It was a nice little haha -ha moment. But uh, right now, currently 35 degrees, and uh, it's about one in the afternoon. It's not gonna get any warmer. So we're gonna head back out. Deer are moving on driving over here. We saw another doe uh, walking, but it was in an area that we couldn't hunt. So we're gonna cut off back into where we had our ground blinds earlier this morning and uh, see if we can get lucky. Oh. And there's Jaime, he is hunting with me. So, you know, his camo is so effective that we couldn't see him earlier, but he's here. So, update later on. Hopefully, arrows are gonna fly true. So, folks are gonna ask also what sort of camo setup I'm running. I don't go with all that high speed, expensive stuff. Uh, just can't afford that. Married guy in life. You know, I have too many other hobbies I want to pursue to pay three, four hundred dollars for a pair of pants and a jacket. So I run multicam, and the pants are multicam as well. The jacket is a British uh, military jacket. It's one of their windproof smocks. I like it because the armpits are zippered and the pockets are billowed out, and it just works really well. Uh, I've tested it up here like today. It's Santa Ana conditions. It's getting gusty, 25 miles an hour, winds and such, and uh, the wind is not going through this jacket at all. Has a uh, roll up hood on it with a wire uh, brim. Works really well. And I just love it. You can cinch down the um, wrists on it, tighten up around the waist. It just fits really good. I have uh, like two or three of these jackets. One is uh, the British Desert Camo. Uh, I've worn that on a couple videos. And then I also have like a forest green one that is really cool for when you're out around the town. And one thing I like about it, which you probably can't see, but uh, it has fleece lined pockets. So especially today, uh, keeping your hands warm. I'm using mechanics gloves uh, instead of a actual bow glove. So when I'm out there 
uh, my hands are camoed as well. So that's sort of just my quick down and dirty kit. Wasn't that expensive. I think I got this on eBay for like $40 uh, it, and it came from Europe. It didn't take that long. So there's good deals out there to be had on camo. You don't need to uh, spend a king's ransom on stuff. Okay, for all you gear junkies out there, you're probably wondering what sort of gear I'm taking out here today. Well, this pack is no stranger to the channel. That is a camel pack, linchpin, and multicam. I've used it a ton, uh, air gun hunting. It's been in a lot of videos. Also have a tripod chair. I don't like sitting on the ground, especially when it's cold out. And then uh, for my archery equipment, I am using a Southwest Archery Target Shark Pro. It's 45 pound. I draw 27 inches, so I'm probably pulling about 42 and a half ish pounds. For my arrow, I'm using a Black Eagle Vintage. This has the wooden wrap on it. And for the life of me right now, due to sleep deprivation, I can't remember the name of the broadhead, but it's 125 grain. And this is a 30 inch arrow. And for my setup, uh, I'm a gap shooter. This is point on at 20 yards. So if I'm anywhere between 30 and 15 yards, I got about an eight inch gap up or down, uh, depending. So that's not too bad. I just wanted to make it easy peasy. I'm running with three broadheads and then one with a uh, judo point. So quick down and dirty setup out here in the woods today. All right, checking in. I've been walking, spot stalking for about two hours. Uh, temps are down to about 30 degrees. Behind me sitting in the ground blind and I just done a wide arc. Hopefully, maybe I jumped something and kind of pushed it his way, I'm hoping. There's a lot of sign in this area. I've seen a lot of fresh scat. So there's deer here. We just haven't crossed paths yet, but it's a win. Saw four today, three does, and a four point buck. So this is a win-win today. Anytime we can see deer, it's a good day. But being up here in the back country of San Diego, we're up about 6,000 feet, mule deer hunting. It's hard, especially with trad gear. Trying to get within 25 yards of these muleys, it's, uh, it's work. But I'm not complaining, we're having a great day.